But as a coach, you know, what types of uh, emotions does this uh, start of the season you know, conjure up for you? Well, I mean, the start of a season is always the you know the the biggest part of the year because there's a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement, that type of thing. So you know, the community is is really amped up for this thing. Um, that's, I know the players are. I mean, the first time we have a lot of new guys, and so a lot of times um, they're just really really anxious to get out there on the field. So it's it's a it's a build up thing for us. And like, what have we done for the last? You know, four or five months. You know, summertime and, and preparing now. As it, as we've been doing things, you know, on track and the way we should be. And so it's a big test for us to see where we stand, and um, you know, if it's all coming together and the guys are in the right spot. So it's it's very exciting because it's you know everything's so new. Um, but then at the same time, I mean, we've got to get things done. You know, there's things that we need to work on and, and use it as a tool to get ready for league and for playoffs and that type of thing. All right. All right. So you're a coach who you know obviously likes to do your homework. Uh, Last week you went and checked out, you know, your your opponent McClatchy um, during their scrimmage. Right. Uh, what did you see, and uh, what do you know about them? Well, I mean, I, I was only able to see them for uh, a couple different series because of the format that they were in in their scrimmage, and so I wasn't able to see uh, entire an entire uh, scrimmage for them. Um, but what I saw was, you know, they're a very uh, it seemed like they're a very disciplined team. They come out very very fired up, very intense. Um, you know, they they they're They've got a resurgence in their program. Uh, they've got 42 players that I saw, and um, you know the coach is getting them going and getting them excited. I know they haven't had that much success lately, um, but it looks like they're doing the right things and they're taking the right steps to get there and they're working towards it. So you know it, it's you can't take teams like that lightly. And so um, you know they've got some good size in their in their line positions. They got some good size in their linebacker positions. They got some skill athletes um, around. Um, we're just going to try and take advantage of whatever mismatches we can find and um, try to wear them down a little bit because I didn't really see a whole lot of second team kind of guys. And so we're just trying to, try to um, you know, attack them, stay on them as much as we can, and then just wear them down to that fourth quarter. All right, so your players obviously must be excited uh, in preparation for Friday's opener. Uh, what are some of the things you've observed from the practice uh, you know, as game day kind of draws closer? Well, we've been actually this week, this week in the couple, last couple of days, we've been uh, – offense has been clicking pretty well. Uh, defense cause it took a little while to get going. You know, Monday it was kind of a, you know, they didn't really quite know you know what to expect, and uh, and so we got on them a little bit. And and yesterday we came out and it was a great, you know, defensive per, you know defensive period, um, the way I like it with a lot of you know, intensity and communication and and flying around at the football and, and some good hits. Um, so it's kind of like they're because you know, they're so new. We have a lot of new kids uh, that, you know, they're just taking taking that wait and see kind of mode. And so hopefully they get over that hump today. You know, and Thursday we'll come out and we'll have a good walkthrough, you know, tomorrow and then we'll be ready to go on Friday. All right. uh, in the season preview, uh, you highlighted the strength of your team being uh, all around speed on both sides mm -hmm. of the ball. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the advantages of having such a quick and mobile team? Well, you know, pursuit, like defensively, um, you know, I think our defense is probably faster than our offense uh, as a whole, and that helps tremendously when, you, when you're talking about, you know, somebody um, – you know, pursuing to the football, you know, getting off a block and pursuing to a football. When you try to stretch teams side to side, which we try to do, we try to fan them out and get them out there trying to make them run sideways, um, you know, fan everything out to the corners, we can get guys running sideline to sideline, and that's where that speed kicks in, where all of a sudden it, it may be, you know, a, a normal team or <clears throat> I think an average, spe you know, s speed team is going to have, you know, one guy or two guys on the ball carrier at a time where we're trying to get four, five, six, you know, and try to get all 11 ultimately. And so speed is going to allow that to happen. And guys are going to be able to run side to side, you know, sideline to sideline and get there. Um, and it happens a lot faster. And so, um, you know, that, that, that plays into a lot, you know, with the, using, your, using your speed, being able to get off those blocks and pursue and get to the ball carrier. And then on offense, you know, making plays in space, you know, and, you know, we want to spread people out. That's our, that's our goal on offense is to spread people out and create a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups speed versus speed in that situation, and that's where, you know, it's going to be to our advantage to have that. Uh, and lastly, obviously, uh, you don't want to give too much away, but you talked a little bit about, uh, you know, revamping your, your passing game and, you know, right. and platooning, uh, you know, of, of some running backs. Uh, is this something that the platoon run at the running backs is going to be something that's season-wide, or are you just looking to see who's going to stand out, you know, the first couple of games? Well, I think, yeah, I think, you know, we're kind of, everybody's kind of like learning about each other, and, you know, like the players are learning about the coaches and coaches about the players because there's a lot of stuff that, is, you know, with the kids that are coming up, you know, we haven't had them, they're juniors, or we even got guys that are seniors that are playing first-year football, and so or first-year varsity football. So 
Um, it's kind of like a wait and see, but we can't, you know, we're not going to be waiting very long. So that's where we're going to start rotating guys around. But I think ultimately somebody's going to rise up and there's going to be a guy that's going to be, this is the guy that we need to get the ball to. Um, you know, and in, in the past game, we've kind of, um, with Ronye coming back and, and Daniel coming back, we kind of worked some things to try to create some better mismatches for, for those two guys, you know, to get Ronye open a little bit more. And so what that's done is it's actually opened up other reads and other options for, for Daniel in the, in the passing game. So, um, you know, running the ball, you know, we, we want to find out who's going to be that guy, you know, quickly. Um, but it's not, a, it's not a matter of life and death if we don't find, figure it out by this Friday because we have enough athletes that we can, you know, sub a guy in here, sub a guy in there, and figure out who's, who's, who's going to fit what mold. You know, some guys are going to be better blockers than others. Some guys are going to be better runners, and some guys are going to be better, better receivers. So um, we just got to figure that out, you know, as quickly as we can, and we'll use Friday as a good test.